Okay, Namaste Sagittarius. Welcome to my channel. This is Crystal the High Priestess. This is my kimono, okay? And if you guys want to purchase this kimono, please go to my website and purchase in the description box. Thank you for the support. Okay, I figure I will sell some clothes. I'm also coming out with some sweatshirts. All right, so you guys can purchase some sweatshirts. Um, you can also perhaps get your astrology sign on the shirts. All right, if you want to make a purchase to support me. We will do a spread for sexual reading and a general reading here. A little different. So Sagittarius, next 24. Sagittarius, you guys did a great job supporting me thus far. So you guys got the next 24 reading. All right. So we do have the sexual cards as well. Find out what's going on with Sag. Spirit, what's the sexual energy for Sagittarius? Okay. But we have to put this together. Sag, stop it. <laughs> All right. Sagittarius, y'all better stop. Okay. So let's grab a card here for Sag. Okay. 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 I like to have everything perfect, literally. Maybe that's my rise in Virgo sign. Okay. But I am not a perfectionist because I'm a Pisces. Obviously, we're not perfectionists. Okay. Sexual energy for Sagittarius. Let's find out. First, let's get to the top. Ooh, the devil. Okay, child. All right. Um, whoa. Okay, so you do have a cutoff communication with the uh, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Capricorn. Okay. Let's see what you're dealing with sexually. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so I see Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo again, and I see Libra. So you're seeking like a family, happy family here, but someone is unsatisfied. Someone is being abusive here, physically abusive and jealous here. So the king, but actually the King of Pentacles is a loyal man. So if you are a male Sagittarius, this might be your energy coming off as loving, protective, all right, with the King of Pentacles here, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or you might be dealing with the Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, very heavy here. All right, you might be also dealing with the Libra because you do have the best card in this sexual deck is the Judgment card, equal give and take here. This is about commitment and marriage. Four of Pentacles is about not sharing your love, but here I see that someone is not equally giving that energy back. Someone is just laying there and allowing someone to just do all the work. I hope you guys can see this card. So, um, let me, um, let me get closer, guys. Okay, Sagittarius. All right, so someone is laying here and letting someone else do all the damn work. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But the four pentacles in an in in original uh, deck is about someone not sharing. Someone being, um stingy not sharing so someone don't doesn't want to share their love then you have the king of pentacles which is a very um loving stable man but in this energy here you can see this woman is like a little frightened you know he's coming off as a little aggressive here but normally the uh, king of pentacles is a very stable loving type of man towards capricorn virgo but they can be very jealous as well you do have the judgment here which is the best card in this deck, this sexual deck here that I have, because as you can see, they're intertwined with energy. They're all wrapped up in a red ribbon. And it's about commitment. It's about companionship. It's about loyalty with the family and the, and the one you love. And everyone has an amazing body. Look at this. <laughs> okay, so this is the reading, sexual reading, um, Sagittarius. But you do have some energies with this devil. And let's see. Can you guys see? Nope, I gotta turn the light down. All right, so you have the king. Wow, you got the king of pentacles two times here, but this was reversed. So you might have confrontations with the Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo for sure. You have the king of pentacles twice. So someone is either looking for commitment or someone is breaking up with the Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. You have the two of swords here. Someone cut off communication with the Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. All right, communication is cut off. You guys just was like, I got to cut this off. I can't deal with this anymore. Or someone else cut you off, okay? It might be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. You also have the devil. This is Capricorn energy. You're being tempted by the devil. Someone's evil, who's vicious. Someone's using sex to get what they want, power. This might be your energy. You're using your sexual 
your uh, sex and power or um, you use a sex or power or um, manipulation, codependency to win, to get what you want. Or someone is tempting you with their sexual energy and money and power. This is that energy here. So let's go ahead back to the board. And it's a Capricorn. So you might be dealing with the Taurus Capricorn Virgo for sure. Uh, Sagittarius. So let's clarify um, these cards. We can just put the cards in the upright position because the energy, when we clarify, we will find out what's going on. And let's see underneath this deck. Oh, you have the High Priestess. So you might be dealing with the Pisces too. All right, you have the uh, Intuition. All right, you have Intuition here uh, with Pisces. Oh, you have the Eight of Chalices here. So you do have love and commitment here, um, Sagittarius. I do love the high priestess here and this top reading because you really need it with the devil. So when the high priestess come up with the devil, this is telling me that the spirit is telling you what to do. You're listening to your intuition. You know what's going on. All right. I'm just your messenger to tell you, yes, listen to your intuition. So if you are following me, you are grateful. All right, so the universe will send you signs. Like, you will feel a little off. Something is off, all right? And you're not going to be tempted. The devil is not going to win, okay? Why is it too... Hold on, let me get some water. Let me get some more chappy. Okay, so why is the two of swords here for Sagittarius spirit? Why is this two of swords? Wow, okay. So you have the page of swords. I mean, the five of swords. So someone someone stabbed you in the back. Someone hurt you really badly. And this is perhaps why you cut off communication. Or someone cut you off a crazy bit, Gemini, because you hurt them. All right, um, Sagittarius. Someone feel like they were betrayed. Okay. Let me show you, like, what I'm talking about. The betrayal. I like to do these little video things. Okay. So. Um, let me come up and show you the part. Where she. This is the two of. The five of swords is this. You guys feel it this way. Like, they just took your wings, someone you love. Why would they take your wings? You loved them. You trusted them, you know? I'm going to put the movie in the de description box. You guys can check it out. With Angelina Jolie. Amazing, isn't it? Can you feel the pain? This is you guys. This pain is deep. So he, she thought he loved her. He took her wings. Now she can't even travel. You see what I'm saying? So that's what that is, you guys. Check that out. That's a beautiful movie. They actually came out with part two. I haven't seen it yet. All right. <laughs> you guys. I hope you guys love my channel because I'm going out of the way to explain these cards. So... Let me hold it up. So the five of swords is this energy of the movie I just showed you. And you guys had enough. Y'all cut that shit the fuck off. Rightfully so. Someone took your wings. Someone you trusted. You loved. All right. So that's a crazy bit Gemini. But I see heavy Capricorn or Taurus or Virgo. Wow. You guys have so many underneath here. Someone you love. Oh, my goodness. Sagittarius, stop. Y'all going to make my heart hurt. Look at this. 11-11. Marriage. Someone you trusted. All right, let's get let's get to this before I get too emotional. Why is the King of Pentacles here for Sag? Oh, the Moon, the Moon reverse, child. Oof. Oh. Sagittarius, stop. My Moon is a Sag. The Devil two times here. With the Moon, someone is a sneaky. Someone's sneaky. If it's not your energy. You're dealing with the Taurus Capricorn Virgo who can't be trusted. All right, let me get back to this clock. 
All right, we're running out of time. All right, why is the devil here for us, Sag? I'm spending all day with you, Sagittarius. Y'all spoiled. Why is the devil here? All right. So, yeah, the hermit. Someone is depressed. Yeah, eight of wands, eight of swords, and it head. This is crazy. So, the hermit and a ten of wands. Someone wants to come in to apologize, but I don't, don't, don't believe it. Don't believe the hype. You know the song? Don't believe the hype? Forget about it. It's a fake apology from a Virgo. Or oh, damn Capricorn. The apology, they could kick rocks with that shit. All right, why is the King of Pentacles here? Oh, child, do you guys see that? High praises. Hey. Hey. Okay, so Spirit is saying you will be stable with the Pisces. All right, my sun sign is in Pisces, honey. Okay. Okay, so Spirit is saying, listen, if you got a Pisces that you want to be with, be with the Pisces, or listen to your intuition regarding the psychopath. Somebody's freaking crazy. Got the four cups, rejecting a cup. Why is it four of pentacles? Four, four. All right. So why is the four of pentacles here for um Sagittarius? Well, okay, Sag. Page of cups. Someone wants to offer you apology. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Well, you want to go back to your Pisces after this shenanigans. This is crazy with this Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Somebody's crazy. Y'all better run for the hills. All right. Why is the judgment here? This Libra. Why is the judgment? This is the Emperor. This is an Aries energy. So maybe you have an Aries or a Libra who wants to come back from being out left out in the cold. But you're not interested in them. You you definitely have feelings for a Pisces or um someone else. Pisces or Cancer. But the uh the uh Aquarius Libra Gemini, you're mad at, and also Capricorn towards Virgo. You're not feeling them for real. So you do have the eight of chalices and the high priestess here. So let's clarify. Why is the high priestess here for Sagittarius? Oh, Sag. All right, so you have the queen of pentacles here, the king of wands, a couple, and a nine of cups. So you have a lot of options, yeah. This is just saying that you have options in love. So choose wisely. All right, choose wisely. You have a lot of women or men, masculine energy. You have a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag to be with, and a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Now, Sag, that's a lot of people. All right, so this is perhaps why the eight of chalices is. You have eight people to choose from. <laughs> why is the eight of chalices here? Ooh, child. Okay, Page of Swords, the magician. Someone is trying to manifest. So the Page of Swords flew out right on top of where it needs to be, <laughs> on top of the eight of chalices here. So basically... Someone wants to come back to apologize for hurting you. Someone wants to be honest about the infidelity, if it was infidelity or pain. Yeah, someone you was in a long-standing relationship with, with the 1111 here, and a magician. Someone is praying for your return. Someone is sorry, Sag, or you are sorry, all right? But Spirit is saying to go with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, I see here. Let's see. Uh, what's the messages for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Ooh, okay. The Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Psalms 8-1. I will leave this in the description box. And this is your reading, Sagittarius, and I wish you all the best for the next 24. Actually, 48, actually. Next 48 for Sag, because you guys have to step up your game. And namaste.